Oh, it's been a long, long day. Oh, ooh, don't put that t-shirt on there. I don't want my company <clears throat> name on. You know what? Sorry, guys. It just has to be the way it has to be. I want my channel to be free and do whatever the hell I want to do. And I don't need anyone throwing me under the bus. That's just the way life is. Because people will do that shit. And we'll do some petty fucking shit. Man, I ain't gonna lie. It was a rough one today. At least worked 14 hours. Oh. Maybe 15. Shit, maybe not. Yeah, probably like 14 or 15. Oh, man. Whew. City, going to a different city, delivering gas, groceries to all the gas stations. <sighs> Pain in the ass. Up and down. Yeah, we don't need, we don't do no lifts. We don't got no lift gate. If you know anything about delivering or trucking, we ain't got no fucking lift gate. We use that ramp. Yeah, that's right. We use that ramp, dolly, and that muscle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's tough shit. It's decent money, but at the same time in this economy, still ain't enough. I'm not going to say how much I make, but I have a good job. However, I have four kids and a wife and a dog. So that's six beings that I take care of, not including myself. A dog don't take much, but you know, it's still a being, still alive. Anyway. Point is, I'm not here to boast or anything, because shit, I'm definitely not rich by any means, and uh, I'm not used to making uh, fantastic money, so this is all new to me, but I'm, uh, back to what I was getting out, got a fucking cut or scab, Ooh. um, anyway, yeah, it was a rough one, started, uh, like, I've been awake, it is 4.27 p.m., and I've been awake since 12 a.m. at least. No, 11.50 p.m. last night. Mm-hmm. That's right. Very unhealthily have drank three energy drinks a day. The third one was just so that I could stay awake while I'm here at the house to get shit done. Yeah, it's super bad. I don't usually drink that many um, energy drinks like that uh, in a day. I know you can have up to like 300 milligrams of caffeine. You can have more than that. They're just warning you. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it's not healthy. If anything, I've had over 300 because I think it's like 120 or something for like the average one. So 360, almost 400 grams of ca caffeine. Probably something like that. But anyway, that's why I got the big boy. Let's dehydrate myself some more. And let's get full on nicotine. Uh, I only had one person comment on the community post, so if you did post and I haven't seen it yet, sorry, you're late. First person was Shug. Shug or Shug? I think it's Shug. Um, uh, but I like it. I dig the name. And unfortunately, that was in my pocket, and it looks like it's starting to rub the label off. No, for collection purposes. No. But anyway. Um, sweating on it. Wilson, oh, fail. And <laughs> Wilson's of Shero's best dog. And guess what? I will not be throwing this in, in the rap -A list because it's not a rap -A. I was thinking it was because it was called Best Dark, so I wasn't sure. I think even now that I think about it, after I tried it, yes, I tapped into it. Um... <laughs> I think someone actually corrected me on that. Not corrected, but they were just uh, letting me know. I don't think that... Uh, I think someone actually told me it's not a rapé. Oh, God, I can't even talk. It's not even a rapé. Pardon me. It's uh, it's not a rapé at all. Well, it's not as coarse as a rapé. For me, a uh, rapé is coarse. And that's the only time I like a coarse snuff, um, for the most part. Uh, not that, and not that rapiers can't be this way, but it's just not. Moisture, definitely there. Um, 
the grind though it reminds me of if you're ever if y'all are familiar with the uh, Tokes Brunswick Brown Brunswick Brown <laughs> I just like doing that anyways Brunswick Brown and that's what it reminds me of except for the fact that this is Wilson's of Shero and it's dark and it's much darker than that but what reminds me of this cut and grind or whatever they're using for it uh in the snuff and i don't know maybe someone has some more knowledge on this why the grind looks like that sometimes um or just because it's a blend of different tobaccos and there's some ones that look like they haven't been grounded up very well um and that's just like in Brunswick Brown. When I first tried Brunswick Brown, I was like, what the hell is this? It might have been a little drier than it was supposed to be when I got it. I actually got it to a friend, former friend sent it to me. But they were, um, but yeah, they didn't care for it. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, Brunswick Brown is, a, Brunswick? Am I saying it wrong? Brunswick Black Rappe. I think I am saying it wrong. I think I'm getting it mixed up with Wilson and Cheryl's Brunswick Black. Oh, yeah. oh my God. What is it? I think I'm saying it wrong now. Damn it. Uh, ADHD is such a curse. It can be a superpower, but it's such a curse. Um, well, I feel stupid now. Hmm. I think it might be Brunswick Brown. Brunswick Black Rappe by Wilson and Cheryl. What is it? Um, well, someone can correct me if you know. Uh, right now, I'm kind of brain dead, so, uh, or I'm sleep deprived, one or the other. Uh, or I just don't, can't think of the name. Um, but anyways, the grind is exactly the same to me, except for this is more moist. Like I said, the other one, uh, the brown, I don't know if, uh, it was supposed to be dry, as dry as it was, but it was still good. I still tried it. I actually liked it. Um, uh, but it was light in color and it was not this dark. Like I said, this is much darker than it is on camera right now, um, in person. So I'm going to take a pinch with my filthy fingers. Should have washed my hands, but here we go. Buddy. Fatty pinch. And let me tell you, Nick is on point. We're going to go ahead and get started. Nick is on point. Scent outside of the tin. What does it smell like? Somewhere, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to the main one. A little bit of ammonia because it's super fresh. Somewhere far deep in the background. There might be some of that dark roastedness. With the main topping. The main scent. Base flower is beautiful. The main scent. Bergamot. Whoa, when it hits you too. See, so you get that dark scent. That dark tobacco scent, leather, fire, smokiness, but then it hits you with this huge wave instantaneously, immediately after, of bergamot. And it's really lovely. Now, hold on. What I'm about to say, don't be offended. It's not blasphemy. I don't know. For some reason this past year, I guess because I was like crazy on bergamot's dick for like two years straight and just used so much bergamot just constantly bergamot bergamot bergamot, 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 bergamot. i almost made myself like not sick of it just tired of it i was like oh great another bergamot because you know i get it but it's like we use it in every single snuff and we're just all doing bergamot snuffs and there's no like difference here it's like okay the same snuff i've had before even though it's a different brand different grinder different texture whatever different quality it doesn't matter it's still the same like thing they're trying to make so it's like well let's just add bergamot to the same to a different type of snuff i mean we're never going to notice any difference in between the two if you just throw bergamot right into it so basically i kind of like so i was like okay so i'm taking a break which is almost blasphemy because i love grand cairo rose and bergamot those two scents together are bam awesome and the snuff is Awesome in nicotine. However, like I said, I took a break. Didn't order any Grand Cairo. Probably going to order some now on the next order just because I'm talking about it and I miss it. And I don't have a fresh tint of it. Um, uh, this is all gone. I always use up my Grand Cairo. Like I said, Nick is on point with Grand Cairo. And it's just beautiful and it goes in your nose so well. Uh, fine grind. Beautiful snuff. Um, anyway, but like I said, getting back into this, the bergamot in this. 
when I took a sniff of it last night. It's so instant tasty, it's milliseconds or less than milliseconds that you're getting that quick dose of that dark fire. I mean, it's deep, it's way down in there. I feel like you're not gonna smell it unless you really search for it. Or maybe I'm just assuming, assuming that it's in there. I don't know why I said it like that. But, I don't know, it brought me back to life. That's where I'm at, sorry, I went brain dead again. And it brought my bergamot love. So now I'm like, okay. I think a couple of snuff orders ago, the one I did uh, like eight months ago, I had like a Tokes Best SP or SP Extra, SP Extra or something like that, or SP. Yeah, it was Tokes SP, yeah, SP Extra. Yeah, it was super great, super bergamonty, bergamonty. Um, lots of bergamot in that one. Um, really nice easy snuff to use but anyways i think that was like the last time i was like really like feeling the bergamot and now we're back at it it's lovely it's a beautiful um snuff honestly there's a burn there not much as brunswick black rapé but uh it's uh pretty close <laughs> I don't know, for some reason, I feel like that black rap band just whew, hits you right away. Like, you just coat your nose. Like, if you just stick your finger in your nose with that, you feel that burn anyway. Now, sniffing uh, sniffing it, same thing. But um, this one is not as heavy, but pretty damn close. Um, I'd have to say a medium-high nick. Maybe not high nicotine, but medium-high. So, it's got enough to, a little bit better than, like, the average hit, but maybe not top. But, you know, kind of like getting close to the top. Nick level. Uh, burn, It like I said, if you're a beginner, it probably will sting a little bit, to be honest. Um, but it's not that bad. A little trickier, probably harder to stay in the nose. I'd sniff it like it's kind of a fine grind with caution and patience and grace. But if you got the hang of it and you're used to like toast... Or, of course, if you know both, it should be fairly easy for you to pinch. Um, I mean, look at these fat pinches I'm just cramming in my nose. It's all about technique. Sometimes, hey, even the professionals mess up. Sometimes I go in wrong, and then, well, I fucked myself. But for people that are newcomers, don't be afraid. But don't go crazy either. Don't. It's not cocaine. It's not a drug. Stop it. It's not a drug. It is a drug, but it's not because it contains nicotine. But it's not like that. And... Treat it like you love it. If you're so crazy and like so into snuff right now and super intrigued, well, treat it with some respect. Take it easy. Master your technique. And when you go in to train for your technique, take it easy. Don't go so, oh my God. Ah, ah, freak out, you know, just calm down. Look, pinch. Look how I'm doing this. You see this? Look, look this is how I have it. Easy. Is your pinch. Look, I have the pinch sealed. Yeah, you can see some outline of a little bit of snuff there. Whatever, that's not going to fuck with you. It shouldn't. And if it does, well, I'll tell you. I slowly, as I inhale, I slowly release my fingers. But I am in control. Slowly. But I can go fast, too. I can let it all out if I want. I can take all of it at once if I want. But if that's not you, slowly. You know, but you control it. Don't you, know, you don't have to do it like that. You can do it like, and just hit it like that, just that little bit, and then go down again. Sometimes I like to move my finger. See how I did that? Some fell, but I'm moving it to the top and basically creating it to rise up, and then it's a little pit of it. I've been noticing some people on Reddit uh, asking about like you know having problems like with like methods of snuffing. I say this seems like it's not worth it because it just seems like it fucks your shit up. It's just because you're not doing it right. And it sucks, I know. Until you master that te technique or you learn how to sniff correctly, which is all up to you, you're shit out of luck. And I'm just going to not sugarcoat it. You're not going to be snuffing. If you're so... I mean, you have to master the technique or figure out 
on your own. It's a bodily thing. Only you can control it and you know how much you need or how much you can take and how much you can handle. Some people can't handle the burn as much so they take lighter or they don't ha have a nicotine, nicotine tolerance so they can take a bunch. I have done many substances in my life and I'm not just talking about nicotine. It doesn't matter, but the point is I'm very experienced and I have high tolerance for things. And if I don't have a tolerance for it, I gain that tolerance very quickly. Um, uh, just because it doesn't take long for me to get back into it. If I take a break from snuff, maybe a couple of days and then I'm back to where I can just take mounds and mounds. Those first two days, I'm kind of like, oh, that's kind of... Like, why can't I take a lot if I, like, fucked up and I start vaping or something? It's, uh, it's a pain in the butt. Don't go back. Let me tell you that, too. Don't go back. Ugh, it's so hard to get off a fucking vape. I fucking hate them. They're so addicting. So stupid. If I buy a can of dip, it's impulsive and I don't need to. But if I buy a vape, it's just so stupid. I hate myself for buying vapes. I fucking hate them. I really do. They're worse than cigarettes. I can, when I'm drinking or something and I'm really buzzing, I can get into smoking some cigarettes and maybe one after the other. That's very rare. But um, uh, but usually after you smoke a cigarette, you're like, okay, that was thick and harsh, so I don't want another one. Some people do. Some people like that second cigarette all the time, whatever. Not me. But anyways, if I were to smoke a cigarette, which I don't often, it happens sometimes. But when I do, I'm done. I'm good. The vape, I just don't stop hitting it. Just enough to keep you addicted and give you a little bit, and it's not really that much, but then you hit it and keep hitting it, keep hitting it, you're so addicted, then all of a sudden it makes you nauseous and sick. It's ridiculous. Anyways, y'all want to hear all that. Hope you enjoyed this review. Hope you enjoyed that little t uh, technique um, uh, lesson. Uh, that was uh, Wilson's of Shiro's best dark and it's really good i give it a 10 out of 10 it's amazing stuff it's a beautiful stuff it's a traditional stuff and i think you should get it but uh that's all to you and of course i just spilled that beer y'all heard it y'all know it that's me the angry buddha but i'm not getting angry hope you enjoyed the review leave a like subscribe comment love you peace bye stay safe